2017 Mitsubishi Lancer trails most of its competitors when it comes to cargo space, features, and ride quality. Apart from its available all-wheel drive and relatively low starting price, there's not much to recommend about it. The Lancer also suffers from an underperforming four-cylinder engine. Granted, other compact cars have the same problem, but many compensate with decent handling. Not so with the base Lancer, though you can add all-wheel drive and high trims, which does help. Adding to its woes is a low safety ranking and an absence of active safety features, even as options. There's no way to soft pedal it. The Lancer just isn't a good car. Better yet, look at the Kia Soul. It's $1,700 less than the Lancer and beats it in every way, performance, interior, safety, and reliability. The 2017 Mitsubishi Lancer was tuned for performance not comfort. Both of its engines are powerful, but they also burn a lot of fuel. The Lancer handles corners with ease, and is one of the most engaging cars to drive in the class. Ride comfort is sacrificed, however, with those inside feeling every imperfection in the pavement. Acceleration and power. The base 2017 Lancer S 2.0 comes with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine that makes 148 horsepower. All-wheel drive models come with a 168 horsepower 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine. The Lancer's optional engine isn't as powerful as the base engines in some competitors, like the Volkswagen Golf or Scion TC. A five-speed manual transmission is standard. An automatic transmission, CVT, is optional with the base engine and standard with the larger engine. When equipped with the base engine and the CVT, the Lancer gets up to 27 miles per gallon in the city and 34 miles per gallon on the highway. Models with the 2.4-liter engine get 23 miles per gallon in the city and 30 on the highway. The Lancer is one of the most fuel-thirsty cars in the class, especially in freeway driving. The Honda Civic and Mazda 3 both get around 40 miles per gallon on the highway. If you don't plan on pushing the Lancer to its limits, the base engine's power should be enough to satisfy you. The 2.0-liter makes a lot of unpleasant noise when you push the accelerator hard, especially when paired with the automatic transmission. Drivers looking for the most thrills should opt for the more potent and more refined 2.4-liter engine. Handling and braking, all Lancer models other than the base S 2.0 have standard all-wheel drive. Only a few compact cars come with all-wheel drive, including the Lancer, the Subaru Impreza, and the more performance-oriented Subaru WRX. Not only does all-wheel drive help the Lancer keep traction in inclement weather, but it also makes it more nimble around corners than many rivals. The SA 2.4 trim has sport tuned suspension, giving it the most athletic handling in the Lancer lineup. The 2017 Mitsubishi Lancer's cabin is dreary and out of date and doesn't offer many high-tech features. Cabin materials look and feel cheap, especially compared to compact cars like the Hyundai Elantra or Kia Forte, which feel more upscale and have top-notch materials. The Lancer's front seats provide decent comfort and support for most drivers, and the rear seats are spacious. The Lancer's infotainment system and voice command system are both frustrating to use because they have slow response times. Seating. There are seats for five on standard cloth upholstery in the 2017 Lancer. You get leather upholstery and heated front seats and higher trims. The front seats are comfortable and provide plenty of support. If you're particularly tall, however, you may find that the cushion doesn't provide enough support for your thighs. The steering wheel can tilt, but not telescope, so it might be hard to get into a comfortable driving position. The Subaru Legacy comes standard with a tilting and telescoping steering wheel, which makes it easier to reach the wheel comfortably. Backseat passengers will have plenty of space with ample legroom in particular. The Lancer comes standard with automatic climate control, a four-speaker audio system, a 6.1-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth, a USB port, a voice command system, and a rear-view camera. Optional features include a nine-speaker Rockford Fosgate audio system with a subwoofer in the trunk, satellite radio, an upgraded 7-inch touchscreen, navigation, a power sunroof, a proximity key, and rear parking sensors. Interior features, tech features are certainly not the Lancer's strong suit. The standard infotainment system lags when you try to interact with it, which will distract you from the road. The screen's graphics are low quality as well. The voice command system also responds too slowly. On the plus side, there are some physical controls for climate settings that are within the driver's reach. The Chevy Cruiser's tech features are pretty much the opposite of the Lancer's. Its infotainment system is user-friendly and its responses to touch are immediate. Additionally, 
the cruise comes standard with a Wi-Fi hotspot, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, none of which are even optional in the Lancer. With the Wi-Fi hotspot, everyone in the car can keep their mobile devices connected to the web, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto let you integrate your smartphone with the infotainment system so you can use some apps directly on the touch screen. The Lancer's infotainment system only lets you stream music from your phone. Better still, you'll get all the cruise's features for a lower starting price than the Lancer's. Cargo, you'll find 12.3 cubic feet of cargo room when you open the trunk. Models with the optional Rockford Fosgate audio system have only 11.8 cubic feet, since the subwoofer eats up some space. That's less than what most rival compact sedans have in their trunks. The Volkswagen Jetta and Nissan Sentra both offer more than 15 feet of trunk room. You'll get even more space if you're willing to buy a hatchback instead of a sedan. Tire-ranking hatchbacks, including the Kia Soul and Volkswagen Golf, have more than 50 cubic feet of cargo space if you fold down the rear seats. Yeah.